Hey guys, this is Chris Jones for episode 34 of Ask Me Anything. Like I promised, we're going to go back to a couple of episodes on the true essence of this series, which is Asking Me Anything. I've said this before, but for those of you that are watching this the first time, you could go back to any video that I've done. This is my 34th. So there's 33 other videos that you could find on my YouTube channel, or you could go to my Facebook page. And when you're watching them, if you get a question, ask that question right there in line, right underneath the video. And I get a message, I get pinged, and I promise you I'll come back to it um, and I'll answer it. In my opinion, that's what kind of makes this whole experience alive for me. I have no problem and you guys should expect me every once in a while to produce my own video because I really want I really want to tackle some big meaty topics like the power of decision making, um, the power of positive thinking among other things. Um, you guys could ask me about those and I'll answer it. But, but again, today we're going to get back to me interacting with you guys. And I'm not going to disclose who this is from. This is, you know, make sure... I just know a lot of you guys are going to relate to this. I'm not going to disclose who it's from, but I am going to read it to you in its entirety. He says, hi, Chris. Uh, I've been watching your show, Ask Me Anything, on YouTube and think it's totally awesome. Thank you. My favorite episode has been the one on fear. Uh, by the way, that's one of my favorite ones, too, because if you could take fear head on and redefine it, the game changes immediately. You automatically start opening up a level of energy and confidence that that." Is, is, is really what you want to incorporate into your life. But thank you. He says, um, I have been looking for a mentor my entire career. I would like to get some advice and some suggestions. Here's what gets a little heavier. So he says he's 46 years old, um, husband and father of four children, um, ranging in age from late teens to still in the single digits, no college degree, um, and... Uh, uh, which, by the way, uh, neither does Bill Gates or Mark Zuckerberg, just saying. Um, I've been in flooring sales my whole career, um, and he's not a business owner. His issue is an issue that so many of you are dealing with. His issue is he feels like he's not growing. He said he doesn't feel like he's growing personally or professionally, and he basically is earning what he was 10 years ago. And he, like many of us, want to do better for his family. Um, and he, he's gone to some of his friends and peers for advice, and he, he keeps getting the, yep, that's just the way it is. So he asked me a couple of questions, and that's the point of today's AMA, dedicated to this series of questions. So let me, let me before I get there, acknowledge you for asking this question. I've said it in previous AMAs that um, awareness is one of the first steps to progress and progress equals happiness. Your end result should not be or does not need to be some material possession or some material outcome. If you could achieve happiness, which comes from progress, among other things. You will find yourself empowered in new ways that you will be more resourceful than you may have been up to this point in your life. I also want to acknowledge, beyond you just sending me this question, series of questions, is that we all go through life and struggle. I may come on these videos and be super motivating and you know, thinking like I have it all figured out, um, and I could tell you I spent a good portion of my life focused on personal and professional development. This is not a two-week exercise, gang. This is a 20-year career that I've had focused on improving my personal and my professional life and then sharing those stories. But um, for asking these questions and coming clean, life is, is, life is not supposed to be um, easy. It's not supposed to always go the way we want it to go. Um, and we all know that. Let's, let's accept that. You know, when, when, when we ask these hard questions or when we face tough, difficult truths or what we think are truths, 
we end up in a, in a, in a, uh, in, a, in, a, in a place where we're not terribly confident. We're shy, we're uncomfortable. And I want to acknowledge that because when that happens, change is about to happen. A new you, a new empowered you is about to come to fruition. And so I am just honored that you would invite me into that process with you. And I am telling you right now, I'm going to dish you some advice that you could take and apply in your life to make your life better, to put you more in control, to put you in that driver's seat, and most importantly, to make you feel more energized and happy. So your questions you know, are, the first one, is there any growing industry that I should be trying to get into or a skill set that I should be trying to improve? So there's a lot of different ways of, of answering this. I could tell you that um, programming, computer programming, software engineering, here's the reality about that. The curriculums that most educational institutions, since you mentioned you don't have a college degree, which again, neither does Mark Zuckerberg, so let's not overrate a college degree, but most curriculums don't have great software engineering programs. Yet, software development and engineering is one of the most sought after careers um, in existence. You know, you could make significant income and um, have sort of almost the pick of a litter. It will take some time to build up these skills and to, you know, be super marketable. But, but the point is, is that you wouldn't have found a really great education in, in that particular, you know, career anyway. So you could self-educate. Um, there's Code Academy online. Um, you know, there's lynda.com, L-Y-N-D-A.com that has all kinds of courses on a tremendous, you know, uh, gamut of computer programming skills. You don't have to learn it all. In fact, software engineering and, and computer programming is more about becoming an expert in a specific area, like iOS development, which is building mobile applications for Apple devices, um, or JavaScript development, which is building mostly web applications, but for a series of things that most businesses need. Um, there's some more old school basic stuff like HTML5 or HTML, or I'm sorry, that's actually the newer version, but HTML or HTML5 um, and different type of hybrid development languages. So anyway, that's one. I don't want to overemphasize that because maybe that's not something you had said that your background was in flooring sales. So maybe, you know, put that aside for a second. You said sales. Sales requires sales skills and some level of subject matter expertise around the product or service that you're selling. There is arguably no better industry than online when it comes to deploying your sales skills in a way that are, that are marketable. I don't think you'd have to learn a ton. You would definitely have to do some self-education in, say, digital marketing. Say if you wanted to develop some skills in search engine optimization um, or managing Google AdWords campaigns, that's called pay-per-click marketing or social media marketing. You know, you just don't read you know, a chapter in a book and start marketing yourself. I am talking about saying, I am going to do this. I am going to spend the next six months or the next 12 months and, you know, take those steps towards becoming an expert um, and a thought leader in those particular areas. And then you're going to parlay your already existing skills and sales to market yourself as a digital marketing specialist or an SEO expert. You could then go off and you had mentioned you were not a business owner, but if that's something that interests you, my goodness, you know how easy it is to start an online business to hang a shingle and say that you're an SEO expert or a PPC expert or a social media expert really doesn't take much. And the demand for these types of skills are so sought after that, again, if you're thinking about the longer game here where you don't jump into it too quickly and you do have the requisite skills, I think you could build an incredible career. And I think the, you know, the income that you could get from that would be substantial. 
um, probably a substantial improvement from what you're getting now. And I also think that your children and your wife and your friends and those that love you are going to see a brand new you um, because I think it's, a, it's in a sort of new age, cutting edge, sort of next generation type of, of environment, which is high energy. And um, I, I think that you'd find yourself much more marketable. So, um, so then he just basically, he says, that was the primary question. He basically just says, you know, is there any, any final feedback that I could give him regarding next steps? Often, people don't take that next step, don't take action, because they get so worried about all the necessary things that need to get done to get to a certain destination. Here's my recommendation. Start with your outcome. Get really, really clear on what it is that you actually want. I think you did a phenomenal job in your question to me about outlining you know, your background and talking about some of the specific things you'd like to provide better for the family. Awesome. What does that mean? Quantify that. Does it mean $60,000 a year? Does it mean $40,000? Does it mean $150,000? Get super clear on that. What is, it, what is going to be necessary for you to have achieved that particular goal, the, the independence with being able to provide for your family? Whatever other rules or beliefs that you have on what you actually want, I want you to get clear on those before you take the first step. So in other words, you know, what is it that you really want? Do you, do you want to just make you know, a little bit more money and be much more happy doing something that you enjoy? Um, then maybe the, the software engineering and, and the coding and the, and the digital marketing things really, they were meant to be just ideas. I'm telling you, the closer you could get to spending your time doing things that you love, that you have an interest in, you know, uh, if you have an interest in photography, um, you certainly could, could make an income, um, either a side income or a full-time income um, in that business. So, but again, get clear on what you want. And I'm more than happy to spend some time um, you know, privately going back and forth online and trying to help you figure that out. I totally get, I've been there. I get when you know, you're at a point in your life where you're just not sure what that next step is. I'm telling you that next step is getting clear on what you truly, truly want. Because often in life where we feel like, you know what we're driven by? We're driven by the things that we don't have at any given time. And I will absolutely, unequivocally dedicate a future AMA to this topic because I think that this is a game changer. Often, we need to recognize what we already have. Because if we're always chasing what we don't have, once we get it, or the process of getting it, feels less than what we thought it would be. That's why I think when you're in a place where you're not sure where to go next, and maybe it is a career change, why don't you do what I've been doing now for the last year or so, um, which is a tip that I got from the book, um, uh, the happiness advantage. It's called the happiness advantage. And it's, it's basically just daily gratitude journaling. I know this is probably sounds sappy to you um, or not, but, but take on the challenge. Before you make the decision about what your next career move is, take a month and every single morning jot down, what I usually do is the top three, the, the top three things that come into my mind that I'm most grateful for. Um, and I do it every morning. And, the, and the, it's a little notebook that sits right next to my nightstand. Um, and I'll tell you what, doing that helps you get more centered on what you're already grateful for. And it puts you in a much better position to think about what you want, what your true outcome, what you really want that to be. And I get it. If, it, if, all, if all it is is making more money and that'll take off some pressures in your life, I gave you two examples. There's hundreds of examples um, of ways that you can empower yourself through self-education, online education, um, to you know, take, take on a new career initiative. And so we could chat more about that. 
Um, I, I, again, I really appreciate you asking me the question. Um, I wish you nothing but the best of luck and um, more than happy to talk with you privately. For those of you that have been watching through this, you see that you know, this is an opportunity for anyone uh, to reach out to me either publicly or privately, commenting below uh, or sending me a Facebook message or an email or calling me and, uh, and asking me a question. Appreciate your time. See you in the next episode.